Hi, this is my newest mini album that I've made with Nicole's Romantic Mini Album Die. I love this die. It makes such a cute album. It looks really elegant, very nice. And I love the little shaker aperture. Sorry, can't make it go slow. Um, but anyway, here's cover. Oh, these flowers are Prima. And then first page, I have got a little tag with a little coin envelope. Second page, I have a waterfall. I'm not 100% sure. I think maybe the waterfall was made with a Nicole Banner die, but I don't promise that, but I think so. This little element here was made with a label die, and I'll, I'll show you the dies at the end. Um, I actually used the decorative center portion of her label die to, to make it fancy. This little die is from a magazine, so you probably won't find it anywhere. This is Nicole's belly band. I love, she's got like three or four different belly bands. Anyway, I love it. And all I did was I took that center portion from here and I just cut it out and I glued it on the belly band and I think it looks really sweet. And then I made three envelopes and those will just hold pictures or mementos, whatever. Each page does have a tag and the tags are different. This page is kind of fun because it swings out this way. Here's its tag and then its other page swings out this way and here's its tag. Another tag. And put those back. And then over here, I used the belly band going horizontally. And I've made three more envelopes. The little butterfly is from a Martha Stewart butterfly punch, but Nicole has her own little um, dies for butterflies that are really cute. And then this is a stamp em up uh, punch. I think it's called mistletoe. <clears throat> Over here on this pocket, I have another little coin envelope, and they're all held with Velcro. All my envelopes have Velcro in the back. And then this is just a, uh, oh, look at that. I got some tape on it. This is just a little fold-out that pictures could be put on, just to hold more pictures. And then this page is fun because you pull it down and bingo, you have one of those twist and pops. <clears throat> this is made with an Anna Griffin die, but that's not the only fun with it. Look, you open it up and you have more. And there's the tag. This one opens up as well, oops. Tag. And I think, did I pull it? Oh yes, okay. And so this one also opens up that way. So it just kind of gives you a little variation. And then the last two pages, left this just plain for a photo. And then here's another little tag. And this pocket's pretty tight because all I did was glue a piece uh, at the three sides. So I'm not sure I really like that. All right, let me show you the dies. This is the tag die. And this has that little, sorry for the crinkly noises, I hate that. This has the little centerpiece that I used to decorate the belly band and the uh, little waterfall. This is the belly band die. I'll take it out because it is crinkly driving me nuts. And it comes with, I think there's another uh, die piece too, but anyway, it has like this little insert that goes in there. So that's how I did it. And then it has this one too. And this one kind of gives you a torn edge look. And then it has the decorative uh, layering piece. 
and the back piece. And then check this out. Comes with three, three flowers, which I think are so pretty. All right, the mini album itself is really a good deal. You get quite a lot for your money. You get, oops, the die that makes the pages, the die that makes the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The inserts, not the inserts, but you know what I mean, the cover pieces. All of a sudden my brain just died on me. I also used this die to create my tags. If you look at that, all I did was cut it out of the layering piece. That's what I meant to say, the layering die. Um, and then I just cut off the edges and then I just cut off about an inch on the bottom and that made my tags. If you don't like making your own tags like I do, She's included a tag set. Check that out. Complete with layering piece, which I think is wonderful. For the shake it, shaker aperture, she's got this nice big die. And what I really like about this is it is really big. And so, and by big, I mean thick. And so I cut like six pieces of cardstock and just glued them together. You could use foam or whatever. Um, I just like a big, layering area. I'm. Some people can do it with the skinny little piece. I can't. And then you can use the skinny little piece to just make that pretty ring around it. Accent piece. It comes with a spine and the back spine. And this is wonderful. You can cut as many of these as you want. Um, for my album, I made my own because I wanted to have a little bit more room between the pages. But this works just fine. You can cut three of these, glue them together, and then cut one of this piece and go for it. I'm sure Tracy will probably have a tutorial out about it. You get these leaves. I love these leaves. They emboss while they cut. You get these flowers. Look at all these flowers you get. You get a lot of flowers in various sizes. And please excuse my kitty crying in the background. She just wants my attention. And then you get this wonderful little oval with the faux stitching. And then you get um, another oval that's just plain and another oval. And then you get these two little sprays. I haven't pulled them off, obviously. I haven't used them yet. And then another little flower. And I think this dye is less than $13. So it's really a good deal. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Hope you like seeing what I made. Um, this album's going to my daughter because she patiently films these things for me. So please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.